Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, this reaction video is going to take place in a different ethnic community, ethnic group, a different community other than the black community. The reason why I'm covering this is because this story is so sick and so distasteful that I think we need to hear it because we do have situations like this in the black community. I'm talking about ancestral relationships, incest, stepfathers desiring their stepdaughters, even though they're not blood related, but still are desiring in them. And the thing is, one of these women, this particular woman in, that we're going to watch, she has a OnlyFans account where she's doing all type of pleasure acts to men, getting nasty, tooting it up. And her stepfather is a bigger subscriber, bigger supporter. And she didn't know till later. So let's go ahead and get into this story. You tell me what you think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Things, and she also had a very specific username. Me have with my partner for two months. I ruined my mom's marriage. So when I first started my website, I had this customer who was my number one customer, bought every single thing that I sent him. He was pretty much a follower since the beginning. We would talk every day. He made custom requests, very, very specific things. And she also had a very specific username on the website. Now, the very specific requests are sexual acts. Touch yourself. Do this. Do that. Keep it. Keep up. It's funny. Two months in, this person had spent around 2000 Australian dollars on the site. And I had. Before I continue, I did the math. $2,000. In Australian money, when it comes to the U.S. money, that's precisely $1,291. Two months in, this person had spent around 2000 Australian dollars on the site, and I had someone view my TikTok page with the exact same username, and underneath that, it said, from your contacts. I went absolutely mental trying to figure out who this person was from my contacts. I narrowed it down to six people, and one of them was my stepdad. I went with my gut feeling and I messaged the website account and I said, I know who this is. And within two minutes, got a text from my stepdad saying, hey, Tay, can we talk? She had no idea her stepdad subscribed. My stepdad was my top subscriber on my naughty website. Her stepdad. Now, I want you to really think about this. This woman who called the stepdad daddy, her mother's husband, has been secretly lusting for his stepdaughter, which is not uncommon because in the black community, this happens too, where the stepfathers mess with the stepdaughter. Or, and sometimes it's not against their will. There are some stepdaughters who want to do that, who have done that in cases where you have cousins who get their own booty. It's just what it is. But this is a sickening thing. This is very sick. <laughs> Now, I know what you're all thinking. Oh, stepdad fantasy, could have made content from it, blah, blah, blah. This man had been in my life since I was 11 years old and spent $2,000 on custom content every single video that I sent out. When I caught him, he denied it to all of his friends. And obviously, my mom got rid of him straight away. But yeah, if you want to talk about family trauma, my stepdad watched me have with my partner for two months. Think about this now. Her stepdad watched her have sexual relations with whoever she was doing it with for two months. This man has been around her since she was 11 years old. Probably was a pervert then, probably one of her den at 11 years old. Now, I said this is not uncommon. You don't believe me? I got something to challenge you with. You know Pinky, the porn star? Her daddy watched her little flicks, a little thing she do when she records it, when he's locked up in prison. She has even admitted that herself. If you don't want to believe me, go look it up yourself. So this is not uncommon, but it still is sick. What type of flesh and blood parent or adoptive parent, meaning stepfather, stepmother, whatever, wants to see the stepdaughter or stepson sleeping with somebody else? Who wants to do that? I've with my partner for two months. Here is the custom content that my stepdad was requesting on my naughty site. We meant that my stepdad was requesting on my naughty site. We messaged every single day on the website and he would make requests almost every single day. 
Wow. One of them was to see the underwear that I was wearing every day. At the time, I was working still, so I was out of the house five days a week, and he would ask for pictures in the bathroom or the change rooms of wherever I was. He also requested that when I was filming solo content at home that I would not do it in the bathroom or in the shower. He always wanted it to be on my bed or on the floor of my bedroom, which mind you, he had access to this room every single day. He also was helping out do the washing at home with said underwear. I actually have here a little notebook from the time and it says the name of the username, change room slash public stuff that he was wanting. I gave my stepdad a rating. If you have been following along my TikToks, my stepdad was subscribed to my spicy website and we talked every single day. And one time when I was doing a promo for a $10 rating, he sent back a pic and I rated it for him. You heard that right, right? Her stepfather sent her a penis picture and then the stepdaughter rated it. The same pipe that her mother licks on, sucks on, get on. The same one now. He's showing it to her. And dollar rating. He sent back a pic and I rated it for him. When all this came to light and my mum wanted, I guess, a little bit more confirmation and closure that it was him, my mum asked me to send her a screenshot, which I did. And her response was, Yep, that's him, small. Okay, let me break that down. The mother was told by the stepdaughter what is going on, what was going on. Mother still needed more proof. So the stepdaughter screenshot the picture of the man's pipe, sent it to the mother. The mother looked at it, said, that's his pipe. I know it all day because I'm always sucking on it. You know what I mean? I eat his boot. All this stuff. So think about how nasty this is where the daughter is sending the mother pictures of her husband's <laughs> dingling at <laughs> all oh, my goodness it was him my mom asked me to send her a screenshot which i did and her response was yep that's him small this has to be one of the most mortifying things that has ever happened in my life <laughs> she called out her stepdad and her mom found out here is what my stepdad said to me when i called him out for being subscribed to my naughty website when I figured out that it was him and I messaged the account saying, I know who this is, his first response on the website was, who, question mark, babe, you don't know. And I then responded and I said, you need to tell her before my sister and I do. Within a couple of minutes of me sending that message on the website, I got a text message to my phone from my stepdad saying, hey, Tay, can we talk? I said, no, we cannot talk. You need to tell her right now, meaning my mum. He then proceeded to beg me to speak to him before I went to my mum. He had no idea I was actually already on the phone to my mum as these texts were coming through. My mum was happy with me speaking to him. I kept her on the line on another phone and she listened to the whole thing. And he pretty much said that he subscribed for my welfare. And I said, $2,000 for my welfare. He then said it obviously turned into something that it shouldn't. Here is exactly how I found out my stepdad was subscribed to my spicy website. A lot of people are still asking questions as to how I knew that it was him. Like, do I know everyone's identity and all that sort of stuff? No, the website can be completely anonymous, but he had chosen to make a very specific username. And that same username created a TikTok account, looked at my TikTok profile back when I could still see he was viewing my profile. Under that, it said from your contacts. So I just figured this username is somebody that I know. It's not an automatically generated username. It has to be the same person. I then wrote down every single contact in my phone. There was 120 numbers and I crossed out the people who it said invite to TikTok or if they already had it. Now, I want you to understand something. Now, that is as nasty as hell. I know I kind of deviated from what I normally do with this channel. But when I came across this story, I said, this is newsworthy. This is just an example of how perverted people are today. And this goes on in not just black communities, white communities or any... It just goes on in every ethnic group. Every community deals with this type of sickness right here where the parent or the step-parent wants to do something to their child. It, it, it is suck, man. So I wanted to do this. Also, before I let y'all go, I will be doing, um, what am I going to tell you? A live stream today. 
I'll be doing a live stream about pumpkin head. I call it pumpkin head. The girl who got um hit with the brick that everybody talking about all of a sudden like that. I'm going to give you a, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a reaction video, but I'm going to do a live reaction video. I never do those. So um, y'all are more than welcome to chime in and tell me what you think during the reaction video about pumpkin head. Um, you, see, if y'all don't know what it is, um, when I grew up in the, like, um, the gangs and stuff like that, when they used to violate, when you violated and they put their hands on you for a violation, there was a slang called pumpkin head, meaning that your head got all knotted up and swollen up like a pumpkin. That's where pumpkin head come from whenever I said, because that's what I, I see it as pumpkin head. You know what I mean? But yeah, so I just wanted y'all to um, know at 515 Central Standard Time, I will be doing a, a live stream today. Again, 515 Central Standard Time, September 5th, I will be doing a live stream. I'll see you there. Take it easy.